When it comes to Monty Williams, he shows leadership. I think D.A. showed a lot of professionalism last year. So they just got to meet in the middle because they have championship aspirations. Now, he's not the only some mm -hmm. player that was a little feeling some type of way. If you've got a social media, you've seen in a social media. Yeah, if you got Twitter, you got Instagram, you got Snapchat. You've seen that Suns for Jay Crowder be outward and expressive about wanting out of Phoenix. The Suns have let him know that they're working on finding a trade for him. But in the meantime, they have granted him to be excused from trade training camp. Now he averaged 9.4 or so points per game and five boards and I think a lot of people hear that and they're like oh that's not doing enough to be productive. He's one of those I got that dog in me type of players. Yeah. So how about this starting with you Ramona what do you think about this situation. Well this has been ongoing for a number of months. It just became public now because Jay Crowder didn't want to report to camp but he had requested a trade and they had been trying to find a trade for him for months. They just couldn't find one that was to their liking and I know they were close on a couple of things but they didn't come together. I thought it was interesting to, that he went public with this and that this has now uh, become, when, when you go on social media and you, and you say how you're feeling, you can't really take it back. There's no delete function on Twitter, right? <laughs> and so I well, think that is, actually, you still got the receipt. <laughs> if, you, uh, if you go and, and, and say this now, I actually think if the end goal is to get traded, this didn't help, right? It would have been easier for them to find a trade for mm -hmm. him if he didn't make this public, but here we are. Perk, as a former player in the NBA, how do you see Jay Crowder handling this difficult position he's in? Well, it's hard. It's hard. And, and But this is part of it. Look, I played 14 years in the NBA, and I was a role player all 14 mm -hmm. years, and that's okay. And this is what's going to happen when you are a role player. Yep. When you're not that dude, your spot is you're replaceable at any given time, especially when you have an up-and-coming young stud like Cam Johnson. Here's the thing with Jay Crowder. He has to realize this, okay? At the end of the day, He's not Chris Paul. He's not Devin Booker. And then I don't, Jay Crowder is wiser than this. This is my guy, too. It's not who start the game. It's not about your starting minutes. It's about who finished the game. So he's in a perfect situation. He's on a team that's going to be contending for a title. I think he has to take a step back. We all as role players have been through it where you have to put your pride aside and say, hey, I have to take a lesser role. This is what it is. And he has to accept that. Mark, your thoughts? Well, Perk was right on it, man. Yep. And, and, like, look, shout out to Jay Crowder's social media team. Wow, that's that's impressive what they did. And uh, But the one of the <laughs> words that uh, he put on Instagram that Jay stood out to me was, one must seek work where he is wanted. And I think it's the being involved with trade rumors, Cam Johnson starting. And, look, they're about to invest in Cam Johnson. They're about to give him yeah. money. This young kid is nice. He, he's a bucket, right? And so I get it. And that, that's part of the evolution of the NBA. Uh, you're going to have to change your role. And I, I don't know if being on the sideline uh, helps anything. But, you know, Jay Crowder does have a long resume. We know what he brings to the table. The tough thing, though, is mm -hmm. when you start the season, these GMs know what their roster is. They've been working on this. And Perk knows this. They typically don't want to make changes until January. So it could be a little difficult for him to get the trade that he wants when, at this point, GMs are pretty happy with their roster and want to see what they put together play out. Typically, when I see Mark Spears, it's in the Bay, and I feel like the best answer came from Draymond Green when he was talking to kids at basketball camp. He was like, usually on NBA teams, you got two players that can do whatever they want, and then everyone else is a role That's player. Right. Get in line. Yeah. I feel like this is one of those yeah. situations. Thank you so much, Mark. We'll see you mm -hmm. soon. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.